Hey all, welcome to the second video of the particle series. So this is the patch as we left it last time. We had a simple algorithm that takes uh, our initial particle position, which is simply the particles going on a line between minus one and one on the x axis. And then we send this initial position to a matrix which has a name, which is called position. We update the position inside another, a second JIT gen, simply by subtracting um, something from the y axis, so basically moving the particles um, down at every frame of 0 0.003 uh, uh, JIT world units. And then we pass the updated matrix inside another JIT matrix position, which since has the same name of the previous matrix is going to update the content of this matrix so that when sh this other matrix receives a bang in the next frame, it's going to send not the initial content, but the updated content from the previous frame. Okay, so this is all explained in the previous tutorial if you, if you need to refresh it. This is a little example that shows that this matrix having the same name basically share the same content, have access to the same content. Okay, cool. So in this video, we are going to see how we can apply acceleration to these particles. So what is acceleration? Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So basically, if we have a constant velocity, so like in this case, the particles, uh, the velocity of those particles is the same at every frame, right? They always have the same speed and velocity also. So speed being the, the simple scalar number that says how fast these particles are going and velocity being the vector that indicates uh, how fast these particles are going and where they are going. So in which direction. So the acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity. So, which means at the moment they have a constant velocity, as we said, uh, if we apply a different um, force at every frame, so a force that keeps on increasing the, the velocity from the previous frame, then we are basically accelerating. It's like when you push the pedal of acceleration in the car and it starts to go faster. It's not anymore a constant speed. It's, going, it's accelerating every, every instant and it's going faster or slower in case we are pushing the brake, then we are decelerating. But there's always a change in our velocity. So, cool. In order to introduce acceleration, we need to save the velocity from the previous frame in order to use it in the next frame because we want to have uh, our velocity at frame zero. We want to add the acceleration to that. And then we want the velocity of frame one. It's going to be equal to the velocity of frame zero plus the acceleration. And then we want to sum these uh, to a new acceleration. Okay. So vel plus acceleration zero, let's say, this is acceleration zero, plus the new acceleration. Okay, so in order to do this, we need to save the velocity from the previous frame uh, in order to use it in the next frame, which we can do this simply as we did with the position. So instead of having a matrix called position, let's create a matrix and let's call it velocity. We could call it whatever, just needs to have the same name as the matrix that comes out from the JIT gen. So let's actually already connect this to the uh, second input here, which was not used. Let's create another output. We can use comments here in gen for the outputs and inputs. So let's call this uh, new velocity output. Uh, comment is not a uh, comment. I wrote comment. So this was going to, this out one is going to be the new position. Out two is to be the new velocity. In one was to be the previous position. So actually position at current frame, let's say. Pos at, uh, no, it's actually the previous position. So previous position, and this is the previous velocity. So the velocity from the frame uh, before, from the previous frame. Cool, so now that we have a second output, we can connect this matrix velocity to it. Uh, we actually need to, um, we actually need to uh, initialize this matrix. So let's actually initialize it uh, with a matrix, with, simply with an empty matrix, so JIT matrix. 
it's going to be three planes floor 32 and 100 it's going to be three planes of course and the same dimensions of the other matrix because the g gen is anyway going to transform every matrix that comes in the other inputs as to the same planes and dimension and type as the matrix that comes in the leftmost input okay this say this we said in a lot of videos about JGen how this works so let's actually initialize this matrix with a load bang which means we are going to fill this matrix with zeros and uh, yeah it's just going to be a matrix filled with zeros so let's see it became dimension 100 plane count 3 so it can be it took the same properties of the matrix that we sent into it cool so basically now uh, this is going to be our acceleration now so this is the acceleration that we apply at every frame to our particles now if we sum the acceleration so the formula we want to go on with is this position it's equal to previous velocity plus acceleration the new position it's equal to actually the old position a prep position plus the previous velocity plus the acceleration so this is the formula we want to go with okay so uh, the new velocity let's actually write it in a different way let's write it like this new velocity equal to previous velocity plus acceleration and new position it's equal to prep position plus new velocity it's another way of writing the same formula we created a new variable called new velocity which uh, it's actually uh, what is going out from our second output here so let's do like this uh, the previous velocity summed to the acceleration and this is going to be summed to the previous position so this goes here cool uh, okay so let's okay so let's see uh, oh okay and then we have to send out the new velocity which is the previous velocity plus acceleration into the output too so now we should see our particles accelerating so let's try and they aren't accelerating ah because i forgot to actually bang uh, the, the velocity matrix must be banged also at every frame in order to input in the jit gen the new velocity so let's do like this first we are going to bang the velocity then we're going to bang the position matrix so like that okay cool and now as you can see it's continuously accelerating so our velocity is getting in continuously greater and greater actually if we check with the jit cell block what's going on uh, we see that uh, oh, okay of course in the plane one because we are only changing the plane one the epsilon so we are seeing that it's getting uh, increasingly faster and faster a bigger and bigger number so we either want to clamp this number so let's actually do it clamp we can clamp this between uh, minus dot uh, zero dot one and zero point one so it will never get bigger than this cool so this is going to be the maximum uh, velocity if we initialize again our velocity matrix you can see that this goes slower again for for a bit of time and then it starts accelerating so in order to have a better appreciation of that let's make the acceleration a bit smaller actually much smaller much smaller value so when we initialize we can see that they start very slow and then they start to accelerate until they arrive basically at our maximum speed which we set here okay cool now instead of simply using the um, s norm as the initial position we could actually use a noise so let's create a jit noise instead of a jit matrix and instead of using the s norm object let's actually use the input one and let's switch the x and y because we are working only in two dimensions and we will concat zero to that and uh, instead of using the vector we will just have a vector three by concatenating uh, concatting at zero to that so cool ah, of course we need to rescale the values because they go between minus one at zero and one so we want to actually rescale them let's say between minus one and one let's see okay cool 
So now we got some uh, some particles falling down, like uh, a bit like if it will be rain, but they are constantly accelerating. So yeah, actually our real rain does. So we could set the acceleration to be a bit bigger, something like that, for example. So they basically start and uh, fall. Now we could, for example, make them bounce off the floor uh, or, um, or give them some, of course, give them some more interesting um, behaviors. For the moment, let's just limit ourselves to have more particles. So let's just do this, say 1000 particles instead of 100, which is a bit more interesting. And cool, we added acceleration to our particle system. Now, I want to keep those videos short. Uh, I will close this here. You can already start experimenting by changing the maximum velocity, which is this one, maximum velocity, uh, the acceleration value, and uh, of course you can, um, and you can already start to see, for example, how to make these particles attracted to one point, for example, which we are going to see in the next videos anyway. So, thank you very much for following. I will make this patch available uh, for my Patreons um, as soon as I publish this video. And I will make it uh, public for everybody after one week. So, this is my new uh, Patreon policy. Oh, and uh, I will take the occasion to thank all the people that are supporting me on Patreon. It's really great. It's more than 270 people at the moment, which is really, which is really a lot and as as astonishing. I'm really grateful for all these uh, support and all the interest that you show in my videos and patches. Thank you very much, everybody. So, and, and thank you all for following the video and see you soon in the next one. Ciao.